Good afternoon. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about the seven best improvements that you can make to your house, either early on before you sell or when you're getting ready to sell. It could be a year ahead of time or more, or it could be six months up, but there are some things that will bring you the highest return. And that's what I like to talk to you about. So first of all, um, we're gonna go through seven. This is gonna be a two-part series. The first thing is um, energy efficiency. That's kind of a buzzword and a good one. Right now, people are wanting to conserve on energy and it can be a great, um, it can save your budget a little bit. It, you, you might get a 116% return on just doing a few things like possibly getting new windows, if you're in a colder climate, to getting some insulation into the attic, um, new air conditioning, things like that. Um, and then when you go to sell, you could recoup in the uh, mid 70% of what you spent. So could be well worth it. And in the meantime, save money on energy. Secondly is curb appeal. And curb appeal can be a really kind of an inexpensive thing to do. For example, um, uh, the outside of the house is the first point of contact. So the door, when you walk in the door, you see um, what the door looks like, the color of the door. You know, painting the door could cost less than $200. Go with a fun color, like a nice teal or a berry color or red or something like that. But just, just make it, you know, spice it up, make it look nice. Um, also, if you've got a garage door that's beat up, probably a good idea to get that changed if you're gonna sell anyway. Um, that would be something that a buyer would notice right away. Landscaping is another thing. Let's say you've got some reasonable landscaping, um, but just a few different plants or bushes can make a big difference, um, especially in the southwest here. You know, there's some succulent plants or little cactuses or something that can just um, spice up the outside of the house. So that's the second thing. Now the third um, improvement to focus on is definitely the kitchen. So the kitchen is the heart of the house. It's the favorite house. It's well known to be the favorite house. I mean, favorite favorite room in the house. And there are some things that you can do that don't necessarily break the bank. For example, let's see, say you've got a reasonably reasonable looking kitchen and um, the cabinets aren't bad. They might be oak, but they're clean and they look pretty good. Change the hardware out, that's one thing. And then I would recommend getting, you know, having a nice current solid service countertop because people are expecting, buyers are expecting that nowadays. Now, you know, if, um, so that would be a good improvement to make. A quartz is really a, a popular um, type of solid service, um, so that's recommended. Another thing happens to be appliances. Um, stainless is a great um, improvement on an appliance to have in the house, but I wouldn't necessarily go top of the line because people a lot of times can't tell. Unless you're in a luxury home, now that's a whole other subject, but if it's not a luxury home, um, don't spend way too much money on the top of the line but just improve the appliances, make them look nice and fresh. So I hope that helps. The next video will be the following four improvements to make for yourself and for getting ready to sell your house to get the best rate of return. Have a nice day.